Hello everyone, I'm Shekhar from Momentum Lab. Today is 15th of September and I'm going to do a, a monthly rebalance. I'm doing monthly rebalance now every month, which is falling exactly in between. That is 15th of every month. Uh, earlier I used to do uh, for every 14 days, but now I've moved to uh, one month. Now, if someone is interested to know the impact of rebalancing frequency and its impact on the uh, momentum's returns, we did a back test and we have shared the results also. I'll put that uh, link in the YouTube description so you can go ahead and watch that. Now, this video, there are three aspects that I want to cover. One, I wanted to show the uh, stocks which are entering into my portfolio and also how your portfolio is performing. The second is we'll also take a look at the charts of the market in general and also the stocks that I'm holding in specific. And thirdly, I also wanted to talk on a topic which I've been uh, discussing a lot uh, with you guys in public. That is, uh, I wanted to move away from my DIY momentum portfolio focusing on large cap to a more broader universe of large plus mid plus small cap. Now, while I move to the larger universe, because the alpha is diminishing for DIY momentum investors in the large cap space. Anyhow, I covered that uh, in detail. Uh, uh, why is this diminishing? What are the reasons for it? And how is the LTCG, STCG is impacting this uh, reason? Also, I've covered in the backtest result video, so you can watch that. Now, if I move into the uh, large cap, mid cap and small cap combined space of universe, then what I want, I felt was there is still uh, merit in the large cap space by having the exposure to momentum factor, but through a different approach, that is through a passive approach. So there are already certain good factors that we've explored uh, over the last couple of weeks. And why don't I invest in uh, these multi-factors, which I've just uh, shown. So with that as the base, I wanted to walk the talk and I'm going in and uh, investing 50% uh, of my satellite portfolio into low wall plus momentum combination. Low wall, uh, I've chosen Nifty 100 low wall 30 as the index and momentum, I've chosen Nifty 200 momentum 30. Again, there are different combinations that you can choose within the multi-factor also. I have done that deep dive in multi-factor. I've chosen this combination. You can choose whatever or uh, there is no right or wrong answer. Uh, the approach or the framework is uh, what I've mentioned and um, the reason for having a core and satellite approach also I'll be discussing in this Thursday's video. Uh, this is a standard way to construct your portfolio and uh, there's an excellent book written by Mr. Anish Daly. I'll put the uh, book's link in the description. It is titled Mind Money Matters. Mind Money Matters talks about the Indian investors in the new age Indian investors. Uh, this book is written in the year 2020 during COVID times and it is very relevant and it gives practical advice of how an individual investor can construct their portfolios uh, using this core and satellite approach and it is uh, quite uh, extensive. It covers in detail and it is a light read, not a heavy read also. And I suggest someone is interested in uh, constructing their own portfolios who are not taking help of any financial advisors, then uh, please read this book. I'll be doing a deep dive on this book anyhow and uh, covering main concepts of what is written in this book. So to pick the idea from that uh, book, so everyone has to have a core portfolio which uh, forms the a majority of your allocation of your amount. And then there are a couple of satellite portfolios. The reason for core and satellite uh, is because core portfolio will ensure that uh, the stability is maintained and the satellite portfolios are there to ensure that your aspirations are being met. Now, this is the objective. Uh, in this uh, satellite portfolios, one satellite portfolio allocated for my own active DIY momentum uh, strategies and one for multi-factor uh, passive approach where I'll be investing either in ETFs or uh, mutual funds. So right now I've chosen the ETF approach of um, uh, multi-factors. Others can choose mutual fund or ETFs, whatever their choice being. So let's take a look at the portfolio and uh, see what is the um, stocks that are coming in and going out. So this is the idea of the momentum portfolio that I have right now, which is uh, right now has 13 stocks. Two are vacant because we have exited them during this uh, last one month because of the Stop loss being uh, reached. Stop loss is basically 20% from a 52 week high. So we have exited oil and Mothersin uh, in this uh, September, 6th of September and 11th of September. So there are two vacancies and we're going to pick up. Let's see what stocks are coming up. We're going to pick up uh, Prestige and uh, Indus Tower. So this is the uh, list of top uh, 45 stocks based on their past six month and 12 month uh, momentum. So we already have a couple of stocks out of which uh, the ones which we don't have are uh, Prestige and Indus. So these two are the ones that I'm going to pick up. And 
uh, if you see mostly these stocks, all the 13 stocks are in the top uh, 30 range, even though my portfolio is 15, the worst rank held is not 15. The worst rank held will be a larger one, a larger set that is at 45. Meaning that if a stock falls below 15th rank, I'm not going to exit. I'll wait only if it falls or goes below uh, 45. When I do a rebalance, only then I exit that stock. So most of my stocks are falling in the top uh, 45 bracket and hence I'll not be exiting them. I'll be continuing to hold them. So the two, two new stocks that I'm going to add are Indus Tower and uh, Prestige. That's about the DIY Momentum portfolio right now. Now the way I'm reducing the allocation in this uh, DIY Momentum portfolio is whenever I do a rebalance, that is when I'm exiting, let's say, an old stock, I'm not going to purchase a new stock with the same amount. I'm going to purchase them with half the amount. So the half the amount is still vacant. Now those half of the amount that is still vacant, I'm utilizing to construct this uh, multi-factor uh, ETF portfolio, which is the satellite two. As I mentioned, I've taken exposure to low wall less more momentum. I think low wall is from Mirai set and more momentum is from Motrial Oswal. Uh, these are the two, two ones that I've chosen. I'm going to allocate equally 50%, 50% to each. And uh, it is too early to comment anything. Uh, this is the blue colored one is the combination of 50-50 uh, equal uh, combination of uh, low wall plus uh, momentum and this red color line is nifty 50. Uh, that's how I've I'm approaching the satellite portfolio and uh, coming back to the markets. The markets have been doing pretty well. I think they, there is a lot of noise, especially in the Twitter that I have recently joined, uh, seeing that markets are overheated. The P is uh, obnoxious. Everything is uh, gloomy, but when you see the charts, that doesn't reflect. I don't know, maybe it is something is not yet priced in. The markets believe that there is still good times ahead, I believe. I think that the chart looks uh, proper uh, uh, uptrend with uh, uh, higher high and higher low being maintained in micro cap, small cap, even the mid cap is also in that fashion, even junior, uh, nifty 200, nifty, all are pointing upwards unless uh, there is something drastic coming, but the charts don't say uh, that way. It's charts reflect positivity only in uh, the outlook. And if we come to the chart specific uh, of the stocks that I'm holding right now, a couple of them are good, a couple of them are not good, uh, especially, I'll show the ones which are which I like. I uh, found JSW Energy to be good after a long consolidation uh, of one, two, three, at least 10 weeks, JSW Energy has bounced from its 100-day uh, uh, EMA and is now again moving uh, forward. Now, Dixon is also good. Dixon has made a, a small correction and again moving up. Trend is, is consolidating very narrowly in this tight range. Uh, look, it needs to be seen uh, if it breaks up or not. And a lot of other stocks are just uh, resting near their 100-day EMA, like BEL, uh, Cummins, CG Power. And RVNL is also trying to make a small uh, consolidation. We see the kind of pattern. We have to see how it pans out. Siemens. Suzlon is also good. Suzlon has made a good move. Consolidated uh, in a tight range and again making an up move. Vedanta Limited is testing patience and luckily still in our portfolio. It is having deep uh, wicks on the bottom side and again quickly re uh, moving up. So shaking out all the weak hands. It has done successfully one, two, three, four, five, six times. And our strategy has still kept on uh, holding this because uh, its longer term move uh, movement momentum was really good and hence we are not thrown out of this easily let's see if it has the steam to go up uh, that's one thing that i'm not, uh, i'm clearly observing and next is kalyan kalyan is also very really good the volumes are uh, phenomenal so that's about uh, the charts and we also covered about uh, the portfolio of uh, the multi factor and also we've covered the portfolio of the DIY strategy, uh, and uh, I'll be sharing uh, this code if someone is interested uh, in the description. Uh, please take a look, and uh, that's all. Have a nice day, guys. Thanks. Bye.